Hello, and welcome to USS Mobile, America's newest warship. I'm Commander Christopher Wolf, the commanding officer and commissioning CEO. I want to welcome you aboard, uh, along with the mud bugs of Mobile, uh, for our virtual tour. Welcome to the USS Mobile's quarterdeck. I'm OSC here. The quarterdeck is normally used for all major activities, as well as having the officer of the deck. Officer of the deck is in charge of maintaining the ship's plan of the day and professionalism on the quarter deck. We are excited to have you on board of a tour of this beloved city's warship. Good morning, commissioning crew. My name is Senior Chief Justin Bowen. I am the departmental uh, chief for the engineering department. And I'm gonna take you on the tour of the engineering department. And regardless of what everybody tells you today, Engineering is the best department on board, and I'm going to show you why. So come with me. And if you can listen real, uh, real closely, you can hear the sound of the most beautiful thing in the world. Sounds like Streamline Butterfly. Those are our diesel engines online. Let's take a look. If you walk this way, right down here, you got our diesel generator right here, which is generating the power that's giving us the electricity that we need when we're afloat at sea. And right over here, this bad Larry, this is our diesel engine, okay? This is what gets us up to 40 plus knots. Hello, I'm Damage Control Assistant. My name is Jordan England. Uh, on board USS Mobile, what we're doing is I'm gonna show you how we combat casualties such as fire, flooding, toxic gas, and sometimes chem biological warfare. So we'll start out with our gas free analyzer. What this does is this tells us our atmosphere is nice and safe to enter spaces when it's post atmospheric testing or when it's a known toxic tank or void. Now we'll go on to our thermal imager. This one's pretty cool. It's our K90 Talisman thermal imager. What this does, this gives us our hot spots where it shows us any kind of heat going anywhere inside the main spaces or in a space that was on fire so we can continue to put out the fire. Uh, if you follow me over here, I can show you we have our own firefighting ensembles right here, our own fire helmets. We got our own self-contained breathing apparatus so we can breathe the atmosphere inside this bottle versus breathing in the toxic smoke or fumes. We also have structural damage equipment and we, we rely on sound powered phones a lot on board these vessels because you never know when you might run out of power. Hey everyone, welcome to the Mission Bay. My name is uh, BMSN Higgins, and I'll be talking about the Twin Boom Extendable Crane, also known as TBEC. We use TBEC for uh, mission modules. Uh, so we deploy a 11 meter rib uh, out the back of the, the stern of the ship into the water, and that would uh, support our mission module, which would be to, to fight against drug smuggling and piracy. Good morning, I'm CS1 Johnson. I'm the food service officer on board USS Mobile. Um, we feed 80 personnel three meals a day, so about 240 meals a day. And welcome to our galley. Oh, hello. I hope you've enjoyed the tour so far. Why don't you head on up to the pilot house where you can see where all the magic happens. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lieutenant Commander Chris Ewens. I'm the operations officer on board. Welcome to the Integrated Combat Center, or ICC-1. This is basically the brain of the ship, where we take in all of our information and sensor data and then we employ that tactically to fight the ship with the ship's guns, missile systems and also communicate internally and externally from the ship.
Hi, welcome to the bridge on board USS Mobile. I'm Lieutenant Engineer John Magno. I'm the ship's navigator. I'm currently sitting in the officer of the deck seat. To my left is the junior officer of the deck seat. This ship utilizes combined diesel and gas turbine steering propulsion, which allows us to maneuver the engineering plant to achieve different speeds, which is speeds up to 40 plus knots. The way we maneuver the ship in terms of steering propulsion are through what we call the combinators, located to my left here. We can come left, right, ahead, or astern. All the ship's sensors uh, inputs here are located in the bridge, all within arm's reach. We have radar, VMS, and communication systems. Unlike typical U.S. Navy warships of typically four to five bridge team members, this ship is limited to one to two personnel, myself as the officer of the deck and the junior officer of the deck. I'm Petty Officer Morris, and to the left of me is the Multi-Aircraft Nose Gear and Tail Gear Integrated System, or Mantis for short. We can use the Mantis to pull in helicopters into the helicopter hangar here, and technicians will work on the helicopters from inside the helicopter hangar. Let's go check out the flight deck. This is the flight deck. It's bigger than most uh, smaller vessels in the U.S. Navy, bigger than cruisers and uh, destroyers comparatively. We can land up to two SH-60 Seahawks and our multiple fire scouts, which are unmanned aerial helicopters and drones. And we can conduct both daytime and nighttime operations to support the fleet. This is our underway replenishment fuel station, or UNREP for short. We can transfer both diesel and jet fuel from the station while out at sea without pulling back into port. And because of this, we can stay out in the ocean for multiple weeks, even months at a time, without having to refuel and pull back into port, which can keep us at a high mission readiness to combat in the fleet. Howdy, my name is FC-1 Schrieffer. And this is C-RAM. The C-RAM missile defense system carries 11 missiles, two radars in order to engage, search, track, and kill inbound anti-ship missiles and helicopters. Hi, I'm Command Senior Chief Raymond Cabral of USS Mobile. Thank you for touring our ship. Our sailors have embraced the community and the spirit of Mobile as we bring the ship to life, welcoming the newest ship to the Navy's fleet. Victory through perseverance, fair winds, and following seas. Thank you.